last couple of days have been sort of uh, uh, ones of goodbye for me because it's been sort of goodbye for General Hospital and now it's sort of goodbye for the fan club. But in many respects it's no goodbye because I'm not really going anywhere, I'm just changing addresses. Uh, I've left General Hospital but I haven't left the business so to speak. Um, and I like to be able to say what I will be doing next year but at the moment that's sort of still uh, still on the speculation list. I mean there are things for me to consider at the moment until I really make up my mind what I want to do. Um, I'm not going to make any decisions at all. But today I really wanted to thank the fan club and people, some of the people at the fan club for the support that they've given me over the last five years. It's been very important and it's been instrumental in really making Scorpio the success that he ultimately became because without the support of you people, and quite frankly, there is nothing. And I'm very grateful for that. And I guess I should have really thrown a bit like this a long time ago, especially a lot of the uh, comments I got in mail. But, well, I just never got around to doing it. And this seemed like the time to do it, so to speak. And as I said, I'm very grateful for everybody's support over the years. And we probably all sit down and pick out here. Uh, you may be curious, you may have a few questions you want to answer, so now is probably the best time to do it. Anybody have a question? No? Right. 007 in the future? Uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this comes around every year, you know, the uh, James Bond thing. Uh, I'll be honest with you, we did have a serious discussion four days ago with the Broccoli people about the role. And at this point, uh, we're talking seriously about it. But hey, this, I, I've talked seriously about it with people about three times in my past, and each time it's come to nothing. So I don't put any credence on it. You know, it's just a deal to think about. If something happens, well, great. If it doesn't happen, OK, there's plenty of other things to do out there. Anything else? Yes? I'd like to have your album. I'm not with TV. They've Boy, that's a good question. <laughs> I'd like to know that, too, actually. The record side of things is, uh, it's not stalemated, it's just that I'm having trouble agreeing on the kind of people I want to work with, and before I can put together a record at all, I've got to really be uh, uh, comfortable with the management side. And so far, I haven't really found people that I truly want to work with, and so consequently, it's dragging along. It will sort itself out in the next, I think, before the end of the year, but at the moment, it just hasn't done it yet. But it's, don't worry, it's going to happen. It's just, thanks a lot. Anybody else? Yes? When did you decide you wanted to go to Africa? When did I decide that I wanted to? Well, it was the day after I got fired from this job back in Melbourne. <laughs> it was about 20 years ago, and acting seemed like a logical thing to do at the time. But what else are you going to do when you're unemployed? You become an actor. <laughs> Is there a possibility that Uh, it's too soon for me to make a decision like that. Having only left the show three or four days ago, I can't turn around now and say that I might make a cameo appearance next year. Um, I'd have to see how I felt about it. I will say this, I'm a firm believer in the fact that you cannot go back once you've left something. Yeah? Do you have anything lined up for the future? Yeah, I've got a deal with CBS and NBC lined up, and at the moment, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't have to make a decision until about next January, so... Mm -hmm. What's your middle name? There isn't one. <laughs> Did you lose the bet? <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, how long would it be to leave the hospital? Well, I made the decision to leave about the beginning of this year. <laughs> just after I signed the contract. <laughs> and, um... I didn't sort of have to really think of that until around about five months ago. I had made up my mind five months ago that yes, the time had come to leave the show and that after five years the character had really done about as much as they could possibly do with him without being boring. So I figured now is a good time to get out while the character was still... I'm going out in a good storyline and I didn't want the whole thing to sort of, you know, linger on like a slow death. I wanted to sort of go out and just leave and make it clean, and that's, I think you'll like the way uh, next Friday's episode, which is my last episode, ends. It, it ends uh, rather sweetly. Yes?
happens, but I invite you to answer that question. It is a fine place, but I'm much happier here. That's it. I'll take one more question, and then I want to wait. I'm sure you will do too. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot more. Um, matter of fact, I'll be testing in Willow Springs the 15th and 16th of this month for two days, and then I will probably start racing in the uh, the Playboy Sharon Stock. Um, class, which is endurance racing. I start doing that about uh, next January or February. So yeah, there's a lot more car racing. <laughs> well, until I sign a contract, anyway. <laughs> Thank you all very much, and I hope you enjoy your meal. And please don't don't watch too closely while I eat it. <laughs>